Yo, yo. Hey. Hey. This is my season. It's my season. It's my season. Draft season. This is what I do. Like, this is really what I do. This is what so many of us do. This is what the NFL is now. NFL Network, ESPN, everybody does a mock draft. Everybody has something to say about the draft, and I love it. Hey, but the underground folks, the folks that have been there, shout out to you. Because guess what? We are going to continue to bang the tape all the way till Thursday, dog. Like, I'm not letting up. And can I rant for a second? First of all, thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Keep doing that. I got a five round. I'm very proud of my work. Uh... I went pick 10 through 179, and I did some things different. So these are kind of some names, because everybody's getting hung up on the same names. So I'm going to give you guys some names that, hey, maybe this might do something different for you. I've been going live a lot. Thank you to everybody who's been rocking with me. I told you guys I was going to upgrade my setup, got the new camera, got the new live stream camera. I'm still working out kinks. Y'all don't talk about me, man. Why y'all always give me hell, man? Like, y'all do that to me. I'm trying to make sure that my situation gets better, but it's not going to be perfect. Come on, y'all. I'm just, hey, I'm just a young brother trying to get y'all some good draft content, and we're going to talk about it in the comments. But today, I kind of wanted to just write down my notes. I got the computer right here. I got all the picks right here, and I just kind of put it together. No mock draft simulator, just kind of my thoughts. But can I rant for like one minute? Let me start my clock. Rant time starts now. Listen, 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 listen. We're getting hung up on the same names, okay, guys? Kyle Pitts, Kyle Pitts, blah, blah, blah. I know you guys want Kyle Pitts. Who doesn't want Kyle Pitts? But Foots, the GM, Foots, the coach. I coach youth football. I'm watching this stuff. I'm tired of the narrative. Just score 40 points. I'm tired of the narrative. You can just outscore teams. That that is so many. <laughs> it's so many different factors that have to go into that. Like I don't think people think enough about okay, who's calling plays, who's the quarterback. Think about this for a second. Kansas City, everybody wants to thought, well, look what Kansas City does. Okay, Eric Bieniemy is a really good coach. Kellen Moore is an okay offensive coordinator that's getting better. All right? Dak Prescott and Pat Mahomes are not the same. Dak is really, really good, but he's not Patrick Mahomes. And the hit rate on some of these tight ends, we hear it every year. Last year, we heard it with TJ Hawkinson, or two years ago, we heard it with Hawkinson. Evan Ingram, all these guys. But history is showing us that you can get that playmaking, receiver S tight end later in the draft, i.e. Antonio Gates, i.e. some of those other guys, and they can be just as good. Sometimes we got to get out our own way. This team was truly dominant when they had a dominant front. Listen to me, dominant front. If 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 Lyell and Tyron and all these guys are healthy, guess what? Take Rashawn Slater anyway, put him at guard, and go maul people. And get out the game quicker. Like, it's a beautiful thing when everybody knows what you're going to do and they still can't stop you. Like, don't make this harder than what it needs to be. Did y'all see that picture of Tyron? I mean, of, excuse me, of uh, Rashawn Slater and Zach Martin? Here it goes right here. Like, dog, he makes Zach Martin look small. He looks great. Like, he, he's a, he's, listen, he has a football body already. Don't overthink this thing. When I say it's a luxury, and some of you guys follow me on Twitter, make sure you guys keep following me on Twitter. We'll have a dialogue. My point is, is don't get caught up in this you know, generational talent, blah, 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 score 40. If your mindset is to score for, and I love Kyle Pitts. This is not a knock on a player. But if your mindset is to go in the game scoring 40, you're going to lose games. I'm just here to tell you. That's not how football works. I don't want to hear this. You're stuck in the, the 50s. The no, 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 no. Football is still physical up front. Football is still, you have to be able to run the ball physical, and you have to be able to play good defense. We have enough. If you think about it, we have, I'm, I'm over my minute. Dang it, I'm at two minutes. Dang it, my rant. My bad, y'all. I'm done. CeeDee Lamb, Amari Cooper, Zeke, that's enough. Give me an offensive line. Let's play defense. All right, here we go. I wanted to do, I know, y'all, I'm terrible. I, <laughs> I wanted to get some good, uh, I wanted to get some different names to you guys. Everybody knows Pat Tan. Everybody knows Kyle Pitts. I'm sure you guys know where Kyle Pitts lives by now. Everybody knows Rashawn Slater. All these guys, J.C. Horn, who's probably my my pet cat. Him and Slater are definitely my pet cats. It's just his the way he, his aggressiveness. But let's talk about some names that would still make sense for the Cowboys. And when they go up there, dun -dun 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 it could happen, okay? And it could make sense. And we might be mad draft day, but guess what? You draft him, he turns into something. All right, let's talk about pick 10. Micah Parsons. Okay, I want Micah Parsons for a couple reasons. 
I have actually, and, I'll, and I'll, I'm going to go on record and say this, I have more faith in Dan Quinn using Micah Parsons right than, um, I have more faith in Dan Quinn using Micah Parsons right than I do our offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore using Kyle Pitts right. I just do. I think that sometimes when you have so many pieces, you, you start, it, it could just be a mind game that you have to play with yourself, and it that just may not be good. When it comes to Dan Quinn, I think he'll have Michael Parsons playing forward. I think he'll have, use him as a blitzer, and he'll use him as a sideline to sideline player. Now you have Keanu Neal. Now you have hopefully a late, a healthy Layton. Jalen probably comes off the field, but that's the draft. And we got to think about it. Linebacker is a need. They may look at Michael Parsons and say, hey, we have our now Devin White in this defense. Somebody who's just going to run, tackle, make plays. They may not ask him to cover. So it's a name that, you know, throughout this draft process, Micah Parsons just kind of got pooped on. But he went out, ran that 40. He's physical. He will come. He will hit you. I think I don't want him in the middle of my defense doing, like, cover three things. But I think if you have a role for him, I think he could be a really, really good player. Pick two, pick 44. I'm the second pick in the draft. I went Joe Tryon. Edge from Washington. Now, at this pick, um, some may want safety. Some may want, uh, you know, corner, maybe Kelvin Joseph-esque. But I said, man, Marcus Lawrence is getting old. Tyron Crawford, Tyron Crawford is no longer on his team. Uh, happy retirement to him. But it's going to become, it's going to come in that in that second wave of edges. You have guys like Rousseau, Basham, Peyton Turner. But to me... You know, I put something on Twitter. I said, who do you guys like more? Do you like Basham or Tryon? And a lot of people said Basham. I think he just has a cool name. He, he probably bashes people. <laughs> I don't know. But Joe Tryon, actually, to me on film, had more in his toolbox. I think the twitch might be a little bit better with Basham, but I love the way that Joe used his hands. Stack shed. He uses this jo He uses this move that, I'm tr that I teach my kids when we do D-line drills, where he stacks, he rips. He stacks, he rips, and he and I watched the Washington State game. I really like how he rushed with a plan, meaning that their offensive line was just kind of stagnant. And these offensive linemen, you know, you have to come every rush with a plan. That's one of the things I don't like about Rousseau. He doesn't have a plan with every rush. You're not going to be able to out um, 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 bend the edge on these guys unless you have elite ability, i.e. Randy Gregory. Some of these guys don't. So the thing that I liked about Tryon was he was an edgy, edgy player. I mean, he played every the Boise State tape. He was playing every rep hard, and he was he. You just saw as the game went on, he found his way. He found his way. He plays the run very, very well, and he's coming from that Chris Peterson mold. He's gonna be coached up, like that means something. And he's somebody that the Cowboys will trust because they love Chris Peterson's players. So keep your eyes on him, man. I, I like the player. He may even be a candidate that the Cowboys would trade up to get. I really like that edge player. I really, really do. Let's talk about pick 75, Paulson Adebo. He's been my guy from the start. I know a lot of you guys, um, he may actually fly up boards. I heard David Shaw speaking on him, and he made a great point, and, and Dan Quinn likes to run a lot of cover. Three. In that scheme, your, your corners don't have to be great, great athletes because Paulson is not a, a super duper athlete, but they have to be smart, and they have to be rangy, and they have to be long. And that's what Paulson Debo is. He's very smart. He knows cover three. He knows how to drop. He knows how to play tricks with um, with quarterbacks. I just like the pick. I like the fit here a lot. At pick nine, I mean, excuse me, at pick seventy five, he's still hanging around. He for sure would be my corner. And in this mock situation, I elected not to go corner or early with J. C. Horn or um, or Patrick Sertan. So it is still a need, and I hit that need. Let's talk about Jamar Johnson, safety, Indiana. I think this will be the steal of the draft if he landed here. Divine, Diablo, also maybe a safety that you could look at. Cisco, if Cisco somehow um, makes it here. Because uh, I like Cisco. I don't care what draft Twitter tells me about Cisco. I like Andre Cisco. I don't think that you could just throw away that ball production. I think that Cisco makes a lot of sense. But Jamar Johnson, I just like his feistiness. He's more of a roof guy. So you could have Donovan Wilson. You could have just Donovan Wilson just playing kind of in the box. You already have Keanu Neal, so he will help 
Jamar Johnson find his way in this defense. I think the Keanu Neal pickup, I, I've said it, the Keanu Neal pickup is going to make a lot of sense for this team in that attitude. And Jamar Johnson is an attitude player. Plays with a lot of attitude. When you watch the Ohio State game, it, it, that's all his game was. It was attitude. So I think he makes a lot of sense here. And if he's there, I'm running, literally running to the podium to pick him. Pick 115, Deontay Smith, East, East Carolina. Now this kid, if you can get him right, you're talking about developmental tackle. If you can get him right, you shrug gold. I think he has a size. He could use a year to kind of just learn and watch, but you see the traits and you see the strength. Once he can kind of, if he can get his feet just a little bit cleaner, I think it makes a lot of sense. Pick 138, I went Marvin Wilson. Now, some of you are going to say, Fuss, there's no way that Marvin Wilson lasts to, to, the, to, the, to the fourth round or whatever round. What is pick 138? In the fourth, yeah, fourth round. There's no way. Are you crazy? Hey, man, if you cut on the 2020 tape, I didn't see it. The 2019 tape, first round pick. But that's how football is, man. Sean Wade was the first round pick. You know what I mean? Coming into this draft, Sean Wade was on everybody's watch list. It's your job as a coach to find out if you can recapture that magic. But the player, Marvin Wilson, if used in the right situation, and I think he adds that depth that may be needed, and he does have that attitude as well, I like him. I know Vach and those guys have him rated very, very high. I mean, they have him higher. A couple other guys brought us as well, but you just never know with these D tackles. The draft starts going and going, and they, they just slide. It, it happens. So I think if Marvin Wilson is, is sitting there staring you at the face, at, in the face at pick 138, you pick him. And then pick 179, uh, I went and got Zach Wilson's buddy, Dax Mill. Now, the reason why I like this kid is he just does everything right. Not very fast. Not real twitchy, but he just knows how to find green grass. He knows how to get open. He has very sticky hands, and I watched him live a lot, and I just kept saying, who is this five? Who is this kid? Hey, good. I mean, not well, no. Wilson was like, what number is Mel? Hey, whatever number he was. I said, who is this kid? I said, Dax, Dax. I said, and he's entering the draft. He's a junior. I think he could play, man. I think that he will give this team something. Um, if you have to move on from, from, from Gallup, he could play the slot, and he could play on the outside, and he's a nuanced wild runner. I like him. All right, guys, it's your boy Fuss. Just to recap, I went Micah Parsons, Joe Tryon, Paulson Adebo, Jamar Johnson, Deontay Smith, Marvin Wilson, and Dax Mill. I think that people will be mad on draft day if this happened because obviously no uh, no Kyle Pitts. Well, if, if, if you might get bad grades or whatever the case may have you, but then you will look up and you will look at your team and say, damn, our defense is better. Dang, we're able to plug Marvin Wilson in the play still because what's name got hurt. You know, whatever the case may have you. So, it's your boy Fitz. Foots. You guys let me know what you think. I didn't go live with this one. I want to just give you guys a video, give you guys some thoughts. Talk to me. Enjoy your weekend. Hey, we almost here, dog. We almost here.